<laughs> Hello and welcome back to Songs of Six. As it's in the title, this is about pumps and bathhouses. This has been requested by a viewer, a great commenter. Special thanks to all the people who have been leaving me great comments. They always make me smile. It's it's just amazing to see how much like positive reception these videos can get. Especially with it being such a small game. But today I'm going to cover bathhouses and pumps. As well as canals and everything else associated with them. Uh, my old video is a little bit outdated. And the rest of the city I will go over in the next episode. But this episode is specifically going to be about pumps and bathhouses and how you can operate them in a much more efficient way. So as you can see, this guy here, he's pumping and there's no water anywhere. Where am I getting that from? It's in the ground. It's called the groundwater. It's 45, 47% right there. If you right click, you can see there's sweet water access. 60, 67, 73, all the way around, all the way down. You can see there's water running through this canal. The way that works is you can put a pump anywhere it says right there, groundwater. 50%, 47%. Just do the math in your head. If it said 50%, it's going to do half of the tiles that you normally would get. So at 50%, it's going to be 32. Uh, that you can double up. You can put multiple pumps. You can have put as many pumps as you'd like to get that canal going. So what I've done here is just kind of connected two pumps together. There's definitely a little bit of excess runoff I could use runoff here or something like that. Who knows? I have just kind of put it like that so that it's a little aesthetic. My boy Ocean Man really likes to do that. And I could put some pools in here, which I plan to do. I can actually put some in now, real quick while we're talking. So pools, ponds, and moats are very different. A pool here is gonna have a grand stone build where the pond is gonna be just stone and the moat is grand stone as well. But each one of them emits a different thing. Pools emit awe, ponds emit harmony, and Moats emit dread. Culverts, I'm not quite sure the low, like how much they kind of disperse the pressure, but I believe it just takes off like 10, 10 or so distance. So if you had like 32 and you put this in there, it would take off like 10, literally. So you'd only be able to get like 20 total. It really can hinder you if you're trying not to do too much. It's, it's just if you want to go underneath something specific like a wall. I think that they're the best used underneath walls. But as you can put them anywhere you'd like, I think it's recommended to just do that. Oops, we're gonna leave that. I got a lot of global stuff going on. So on to the next thing while we're having these guys build this pool in the background, we have a bathhouse. This needs access to coal and sweet water. Not the the uh, ocean will not emit sweet water. You'd have to put a pump in the ground anyways like this to get groundwater, which will give you sweet water. And by default, these put 64 tiles of pressure. This you can see is doing 35 and this one is doing 30. That adds up to be yeah, basically one full pump of pressure. So two pumps is making one pump very ineffective, but much more efficient than if I had 40 guys over here pumping away. So I have eight guys over here. At the first level, it takes six guys. Second level, four, and the third level, two. And they pump for a little bit of the day, and then the access will, or the pressure will stay up there, the work value, and they don't have to be there all day. They're not pumping away constantly. With the bathhouse, plebeians will come in here, and they will get, get naked, and they will uh, bathe up, clean off their dirty little bodies, and then lay down and relax you can see this is an ambassador all these guys are hopefully getting cleaned up in my city you can see we're we're on the starts of something really nice here and that requires them to have access to bathhouses and we have these two other bathhouses here with water pumps getting put in there we're gonna have little pools on the sides all kinds of really cool things the water update which is this update added so many unique things so this ground around these pumps is also very fertile so you can see the fertility is at 100 percent you don't normally get that so for example let's say i wanted to use that for something i could put like a herb farm usually i think an herb farm 
is the most beneficial unless you have a re unless you have a region which I have producing the herbs you can put the herbs there or opiates along the side of them they go about eight like tiles away the fertility starts to drop off you can see back to base so if I go right here at eight that's about the max and then it starts to drop off drop off drop off drop off so yep just keep that in mind I'd actually say 14 14 is about as far as it goes the eight is if it's in like a really really rough spot and there's like no fertile ground at all but since this is a pretty fertile ground i think it's about 14. i've seen in the desert it's about eight tiles away so with that being said i just want to wrap this up as a short video i want to make them a little more precise a little more concise and to the point because each one of them is going to be a little more advanced and to the like letter exactly what their point is so for example this is just gonna be pumps in the next episode, I'm going to try to cover blocks and how I've gone over blocks here. We've created a really nice system for our city, and we, I hope to expand it and build outwards. You can see we've already taken up a ton of space, and there's tons of housing. So, I look forward to the next one. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye!